Hello everyone, today I am going to present you a REST API generator from PGSQL database. So I have developed this tool to automatically generate the PHP REST API from the database post GraySQL. So let's see where is my database. This is the sample database I have as a DVD rental if you see. And then in that I have a schema public which contains a lot of tables related to DVD rental like at so I want to generate a REST API of this database I have created a tool which will generate you automatically PHP REST API from this database so if you see my tool so this is the folder I have created just for which instruction video and everything you will get it sample database also I have put into this and then a sample API generated also I have put in the folder so this is my tool so this is the tool i have given a by default my database name host name host name is the where my database is hosted which port my data database is hosted dvd name db name which is the dvd rental is my database name and then the schema which we want to generate the REST API then username password for my local connection so I have so let's change the project name I want to generate for DVD rental so let's put the project name as DVD rental so it will be used everywhere and then according to my database connection let's test the connection is working fine so my database connection is success means my tool is able to connect to the get button and let's see what happens goes through each and every ta table of this database and then it will generate a rest api so if you see this is done and then it's created a folder dvd rental here which is the project name we have given so if i go inside this folder so dvd rental so for each table it is created uh, a lot of php scripts it's created automatically most important thing is that you will get a postman imported file which you can import and test the api so let's see how i can test this api so i have a generated php file so i can copy this full file I have a jam server running in my local host so I will put it into HTTP docs if I have already created so this is my local host website DVD rental so let's go to browse this so I have a local host with 82 port number so these are the API endpoint documentation which is generated so it is all Take it how to test it with JWT token so for that I have a postman imported file it means the postman file I have generated which you go directly and then I start using your API for testing and other stuff so let's uh, go to postman so I will import those scripts so I have here so let's copy from here and import first file was this postman import file so dvd rental import okay done and then the second file was my environment variable so this is my environment variable so import this also and then you have to set up first is important thing is you have to set up your environment where which environment you want to point so let's see this so if you see this is localhost esop but my API is hosted at DVD rental. So let's put this is my actual API. So when you upload to your server, you have to put that URL here. So the base URL of the API. So update that environment variable and then select that as a, that I am going to test the DVD rental environment. So the first important step is to generate a token. So this this was the URL I was referring to. So this is the in from the environment variable. So if you see mouse over, it is the local. So 
it is generating the REST API JWT token. It is generating the JWT token. So what is the data I am passing? This is the default username password we have hard coded in the PHP file which you can change according to your business logic. So this is the REST access token generator and so it is valid for this much time. So I can take this JWT token and for the next call like I want to select actor so that thing I can put as a in the authorization header with if you see I have already initialized my variable whenever you generate it will automatically initialize the token variable and then I don't have to copy paste every time and here I have read all get actor get all is the endpoint so here I can pass page number one to and page size so you can pass page 2 and different page sizes so that is also automatically supported you don't have to do any coding for that so this is working fine if you can see so it's returning me page number 1 page size is 30 and the total count is 203 so it is returning me the first 30 record let's test this so that we know that if it is working or not. So I am going to return only two records. So after one and two should be returning. Okay, so this is working. And then if I want to return for page number two. So see for page two, page size is two. So it is returning me two records without writing any line of code. So get y id I can do so actor number three or one is there already. So I can just click send and it will fetch me all the doc. Post then you have a create endpoint that I want to create a new actor. So let's see this. Let's create actor three. Uh, It is so I have not written any line of code and I am able to create the let's face this actor so that should be 20 so if you see the total record is 203 so it should give me a new record so is the new record so if I do get by id 204 it should give me the new record okay, so this is not this is maybe 205 will be so this is the new record I have created. So if I want to delete that record, I can just put 20 and it should delete that record. So this all endpoints are working. Update, create, everything will work without his generator, like all whatever the tables you have, any number of like film. I want to select so without any line, number of line written I am able to fetch everything so this is the beauty of my tool this is the tool I wanted to publish it now so thanks everyone hope you understood the tool please like the video support me by subscribing to my channel I will be keep developing this type of different different tools thanks everyone thanks everyone.